Well, it looks like Magellan has returned. This time, though, he's got a little more firepower. This last week of February, Guam welcomed the Juan Sebastian de Elcano, a Spanish Navy ship, to commemorate the 500th anniversary of the Magellan Elcano circumnavigation. The visit to Guam is in advance of March 6th, which is celebrated locally as Guam History and Chamorro Heritage Day and the day when explorer Ferdinand Magellan first made landfall on Guam. Ferdinand Magellan was a Portuguese explorer who organized a Spanish expedition to the East Indies from 1519 to the year 1522, resulting in the first circumnavigation of the Earth, which was completed by Juan Sebastian Elcano. The Juan Sebastian de Elcano Spanish Navy ship's current expedition follows the route of the original Magellan Elcano circumnavigation of the globe. The planned voyage has taken naval training sailing ships across the Atlantic to Argentina through the Straits of Magellan and across the Pacific Ocean, stopping in Guam and the Philippines on their way back to the Spanish port of Cadiz. It was on the 6th of March, 1521, when the exhausted fleet made landfall at the island of Guam and were met by native Chamorro people who, during the fleet visit, boarded the ships and took items such as rigging, knives, and a ship's boat. As the story goes, the Chamorro people may have thought they were participating in a trade exchange, as they had already given the fleet some supplies. But the crew interpreted their actions as theft. Magellan then sent a raiding party ashore to retaliate, killing several Chamorro men, burning their houses, and recovering the stolen goods. Magellan was so incensed by this that he named the entire island chain Isla de los Ladrones, or Island of Thieves. They were later named the Marianas Islands. The fleet departed the Marianas, sailing west to the Philippines, where Magellan met his death during the Battle of Mactan. After Magellan's death, the ship Victoria was the only seaworthy ship remaining of the five ships that originally set sail from Spain in 1519. Victoria was captained by Juan Sebastian Elcano, and the surviving crew eventually made their way around the Cape of Good Hope and back to Spain three years after leaving. This completed the first known circumnavigation of the globe. Of the 270 men who left with the expedition, only 18 or 19 survivors returned. The Juan Sebastian de Elcano is currently a training ship of the Spanish Navy. The Elcano was built in 1927 in Cadiz, Spain, and after the proclamation of the Second Spanish Republic in April of 1931, the ship became part of the Spanish Republican Navy. It is a four-masted topsail, steel-hulled barkentine, or schooner bark. At 371 feet long, it is the third largest tall ship in the world and is the sailing vessel that has sailed the furthest, covering more than 2 million nautical miles in its lifetime. The ship is named after Captain Juan Sebastian Elcano, captain of Ferdinand Magellan's last exploratory fleet and the man who completed the first circumnavigation of the world. As part of the Guam History and Chamorro Heritage Day Festival, a reenactment of the March 6, 1521 landing of the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan has been performed with some regularity for nearly 75 years. Magellan was a seafarer and a navigator who worked most of his life for the Spanish throne, and his arrival in Guam marked the first European contact here. Soon after, Guam became the place for Spanish galleons to stop over and replenish their supplies during annual voyages from Mexico to the Philippines. Magellan's voyage heralded the beginning of a series of intermittent visits to the Marianas throughout the next 150 years by foreign navigators. Fort Soledad, shown here in this video, was built overlooking Umatic Bay and was fortified with cannons to keep pirateers at bay. 
The 500th anniversary celebration that was to take place has been in the planning stages for over two years. However, many of the events and proceedings have been canceled or made virtual due to the ongoing pandemic situation. We still make the drive to Umatic on occasion for something to do, and included here is some of our video from one of those trips. So sit back, relax, and join in on a little bit of Ireland history. Check out the ocean. How's the water? Nice and cool. Cool? Mm-hmm. This is a stony beach. Yeah, it's hard to walk. Big nothing but stones. No sand. All stones. <laughs> <laughs> 